everybody and welcome to another video welcome to the joy of homemaking god bless you guys so i'm headed over to my local target i'm just going in for a quick little shop and decided to have you guys come along with me just picking up a few little snacks some little treats here and there um now when i'm picking out warning these are not items that i pick out all the time it's just a little treat special occasion so our son is going to be 18 you guys our oldest son is 18 years old tomorrow it just seems so unreal <laughs> you know because it's like where does the time go and it's so funny because our youngest son elijah he, he's been like teasing me for months but i think it's hard for him to even fathom too as well he's like can you believe you're gonna have a son that's gonna be 18 and he's like daniel's not ready to be 18 yet so obviously he's feeling some type of way about his brother turning 18 right so and then our middle son my husband told me he told his dad the other day when he picked him up from school we're gonna have three adults in the house <laughs> so it's just it's just so funny the things that kids say and you know god really gives i believe children a lot of wisdom and sometimes the older folks don't want to hear it and we try to rebuke the kids but the kids be telling the truth sometimes they be having me just laughing or just we gotta accept the truth you know the truth sets us free and i love it when i hear my kids tell me the truth and i know that wisdom comes from from the lord okay so i just parked my car and so i'm about to go in here real quick I'm looking for these salted caramel, um, salted caramel chocolates my son really likes, so, our middle son. So, um, he's gonna get a few treats. It's not gonna be a big, big shot, like I said. I'm also looking for this air freshener, as you guys can see. Jelly Belly. Um, I found these at Target, you guys. So, my husband was, like, really obsessed with these, so I think I'm gonna look and see if they have another pack because I found him at another Target in a different, whole different city. He really likes it and he wants another pair for our other card. These are the cherry scented. They look like jelly beans, right? Like you can just re reach out and grab it and eat them. But these are air fresheners, but they have a nice scent to them. I think they were like under $5 a two pack. This is the Anaheim Target. A lot of times I go to the Garden Grove one. But Anaheim has like two locations, I believe. I got my eye on all of those dresses right there. I just love, yeah, they're old fashioned looking, they're long, but I love those dresses. When you get into this Target, the food section is always to the left of the store. I'm gonna take a peek on the, what do you call this? The party wear aisle, just to see what type of decorations they have. I'm not really trying to buy anything, but I just want to see what they have. Just curious. Thought I needed to get an extra one and since I'm here, so they have like this um, single paper punch. That one's $2.19 and then they have this three hole punch for $9.89. I think I might get this one for Daniel because our oldest son. We're just trying to find the one we have. You know how things just get lost in the house, so oops. We're going to um, find that one and this will be just a backup one. Okay, so I actually want to get this, you guys, because it's on clearance. It's usually $25. I really wanted a dry erase board because we're doing like Bible study time um, together with our kids as a family. And I really do need one of these for our class together. So this is a good find. It's really nice too. And it comes with two markers some markers here you can get so there's like some big neon ones there's a medium point um, dry erase marker some mini ones just some smaller packs oh and some microbial or magnetic accessory kit I don't know what that means but anyway think about getting this one the medium point okay this one works on liquid chalk okay this is liquid chalk and dry erase Okay, so it works on dry erase and chalk surfaces. Okay, 
the extra board eraser utility cup as well i'm gonna get the board eraser okay there we go all under ten dollars just about ten bucks for both of these okay so i'm hoping they have these salted caramel bites i wanted to get them and just kind of look around at some treats we made it to the food area so they have vegetables dairy up front some meat then their freezers and then all the way down to the left is the dry goods mother's day is coming up right to be a really quick shop because I already bought some treats earlier. We got some Krispy Kreme donuts. And what else did we get? I can't even remember, but I don't want to go too crazy with the sugar, you guys. So, yeah. Just remember, we got some frozen cookie dough. So that's back at the house. We found this cookie dough at Rouse Market. I'll show you guys when I get back home. I think it's a chocolate salted caramel. For some reason, I'm craving caramel and salt and chocolate. I think what I'm gonna do now is find a drink for us. I'm gonna head back home. Like I said, this is a really quick shop. So I baked the enchilada bake. I'm gonna show you guys uh, when I get home what that looks like. Um, yeah, it's a chicken enchilada bake. This to be our favorite tea for a minute. What does this mean, you guys? I see a new um, type of tea. It's called Supply, Supply Sweet Tea. Not sure what that means, but anyway. Oh yeah, we still like the Pure Leaf sweet tea they do come with the lemon raspberry extra sweet which is crazy unsweetened I do like that but I'll add like my own stevia to make it more or less sugary so I don't know I don't want to do soda but I think I might do something else so I went with the Arizona green tea with um, ginseng and honey get this one too half and half iced tea and lemonade I was gonna mention when I was walking through that aisle of birthday stuff, I was thinking, you know what? My son is gonna be 18 tomorrow. A lot of that stuff is like, no way, because he's an adult now. You know, but kitty things are gone, you know, he's becoming a man, so I don't even think he cares for decorations. So look out for tomorrow's vlog. I'll be showing you guys what we do as a family. Not everything, just a little bit of what we're gonna do tomorrow for his 18th birthday. I'm happy for him, I'm so excited. This boy has been on honor roll since the sixth grade. Honor roll, he's been on it ever since. Uh, he's gonna be going to college not too far from us. Um, and he's just so gifted and I just um, pray that God will just direct his steps, order his steps and that he will draw more near to the Lord and stay united with Christ, that's most important. Give this video a like if you guys are a fan of Target. I am. Um, so hopefully I'll be coming back here soon. Because I do want to do some walkthroughs on some of these aisles. You guys. And show you some other things that I like to pick out for my home. And just window shop. You know. I'm waiting in the self-checkout line. It kind of wrapped around. There was literally nobody here. But it's all good. Okay, so I spent $27.53, including that uh, dry erase board. It came up $14.99, but the cashier changed it to $7.50. Okay, so my trunk is all loaded. Once again, these are the items that I picked. And so, yeah, there's these yummy caramels going home. I just remembered I forgot to look for these. Oh, well, maybe next time on Friday. I'll go back to Target. I just remember I was looking for these air fresheners, but oh well. 2,000 years later. Okay, so let's take a look at the enchilada bake. There we go. You know, I used to do like three layers. So a layer at the bottom, meat, cheese, bean, corn. A second layer, repeat, meat, cheese, corn, beans. And of course, the enchilada sauce. And then I would add a top layer, but I stopped doing that because I noticed the top layer would get too overcooked. So I decided not to do the top layer of tortillas, if that makes any sense. I think it does. I hope you guys get the picture. So you can see the different layers. So like I said, instead of putting that top layer of tortillas, I just left the chicken. I didn't add the layer. So I just added a bed of cheese over the top and baked it on 325 
for about 25 minutes and then when it was done I took the foil off right and just let it continue cooking to get that cheese cooked and the cheese is not overdone that's the thing you don't want to overdo your cheese okay so this is the enchilada bake if you guys want to know more details about it let me know leave a comment we got one Krispy Kreme donut left crazy because I don't really care for their donuts maybe I'm just having like a craving you guys but I was shocked that this dozen is almost $16 you guys so it's definitely gone up in price some extra bananas as well we wanted some bananas we love bananas I don't eat them as I used to but our oldest son and my husband likes these we do use a lot of frozen bananas for smoothies too as well but fresh bananas I try to get um, every time I go into the store. Picked up two packs of chicken breasts. The Foster Farms is the only chicken that I buy um, right now to buy one, get one free at Ralph's Market. One pack was about less than $15. As we all know, everything is kind of high, $2.49 per pound, which is not um, the best price, but we needed to get two more packs. I guess the average is about maybe less than $8 per pack show you this one too as well this is um by private selection ralph's market this is the sea salt caramel chocolate chunk cookie dough looks pretty yummy right so my husband wanted to try it it makes 12 cookies and this was under four dollars okay so i'm feeling a little bit tired today but it's just one of those days and i'm pretty sure um uh, maybe i had a little extra sugar that i shouldn't have had but it's one of those days <laughs> so picked up some bags of chips we decided the kettle brand that we were buying that was a little too hard like the chips and i didn't really care for their flavor for the barbecue but their trouble ones are good see they have these um this is the brand i'm talking about the kettle brand okay so we like the truffle oil and sea salt my husband liked the dijon mustard but we decided to get just a few more bags um i prefer the lathe over those i'm trying to say these are just more softer those uh, kettle ones are a little hard so it was kind of like annoying, like crunching down on those. They love salt and vinegar, everybody in the house, my husband especially. The party size lace at Ralph's Market is $4.99 a bag. And if you get the smaller bag, you have to buy four of these smaller bags. They're $1.99 a piece if you buy four or more each. So we got the Sweet Serving and Heat barbecue. My husband loves flaming hot type of chips. So he wanted to try these flaming hot barbecue quick this is the dry erase board that um, I picked up at Target I showed you guys a little earlier um, I really like this board it's nice I can't believe it's originally 25 I don't think it's worth that much but I got it for 750 now um, I was one really wanted to use this for our Bible class that we're doing together as a family with our kids and so I came up with an idea a little bit before our Bible study ended and so I asked the boys what are your favorite characters or anybody that really not characters i'm sorry anybody in the scripture that really stood out um that we've been watching we've been watching this bible series right and so daniel and Jaden, our oldest said peter and our youngest said samson so as i was like asking them that i said you know what i want them to get really active with this and really participate in learning things of the scriptures and so they have a paper due on sunday so i want them to write a one paragraph essay on um, Peter and Samson. So I think this is a really good idea. So if you guys are interested in this idea, if you have any questions, um, I'll be happy to answer um, any questions you have regarding um, doing Bible study, especially with your children, your teenagers. Um, yeah, so if you have any ideas or tips, let me know in the comment section. If you want to send me a private email, do so. My private email is jamilaevor143 at gmail.com. Okay, so the evening is winding down. As you guys can see, I'm like kind of tired right now. I do need to drink some water, maybe rest up a little bit and just enjoy the rest of my evening. My husband will be going to work later. He does work overnights at the hospital. So he goes in pretty late around 9.30. Okay, and also I was just thinking, um, I think I'm going to do another video because I want to show you guys the um, stuff that we're going to be going over with our children. I have prayed about it and got, um, gave me some ideas on what to do um, together with our three teenage sons um, with the Bible study and just to make it fun and interactive for them. And so I created like a game and then I came across this devotional for teenagers 
and there's some really important really good topics very informative i found this website so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a separate video for that because i really want to share that with you guys if you guys are interested in doing um like i said some bible study with your family so so good right now it's been a little warm warmer than usual here in anaheim california the sun will be going down in a second you guys hear about how those planets are lining up in the sky you guys i honestly believe it's definitely another sign of the times as a believer in christ because god in genesis said he put the um stars in the sky for signs for seasons and it's definitely a sign there's like four planets lining up um look it up and then the fifth one's gonna join and they're all gonna be very close to the moon i know jupiter is one of them and saturn yeah so yeah it's pretty crazy right so i'm gonna end this video if you guys liked it share subscribe hello if it's your first time here my name is beautiful joy check out my other channel here on youtube now beautiful joy is the other channel like i mentioned that channel is dedicated to bible study devotionals i've shared visions and dreams that god has led me to share some testimonies scripture reading just all types of things regarding that so god bless you i love the lord i'm a christian mom born again in 2013 the lord is so good and i just love god and his word so check out that channel it's called beautiful joy so this channel is dedicated to mom life cooking shopping cleaning all things that mom have to do so i just love to encourage other women out there um and just show you that it's okay to be a mom it's okay to be a homemaker housewife whatever you call it because your ministry your very first ministry starts at home with your children and i just want to encourage other women out there it's just a gift that um god has called me to um give to the world and it's all glory to him this channel is de dedicated to lord both channels are dedicated to god so i give all the credit and honor and glory to him so god bless you guys and we will talk later